it's Emmeline. So today we are going to a wedding venue. Actually, this whole vlog is gonna be pretty much wedding venues and I'm also gonna be making the gifts um, to ask my bridesmaids to be my bridesmaids and my maid of honor. So we're gonna do that in today's vlog. So we have our first venue that we're going to today. This is like the first venue I'm even ever visiting. Here is my outfit of the day. I actually wore this shirt um, in a clip of the proposal video and I got this from Boohoo. If you guys didn't see the haul, I feel like it didn't get sent to subscription boxes or something because it got like barely any views. But um, this is from that haul. Um, if it's still available, I'll link it down below. I'm obsessed with this shirt and this skirt is from Pac Sun, but you can find like a ton of these skirts everywhere. They're just a classic gingham skirt. I'm not really sure yet what I'm gonna wear for shoes, probably just a basic pair of slides. So Connor is here, so we're gonna go with my family to go check out these wedding venues, and I'm super excited, but I gotta do something with his hair first. So I will catch up with you guys in a minute. Okay guys, so we just got to the venue. So I'm gonna show you guys around once we get inside. It looks really, really cute so far. This is the outside. I love this. Yeah, it's beautiful. It's so pretty. Wow. Oh yeah. Lots of great places for um, This is nice. This is cute. It has such a vintagey feel. What do you think so far? <laughs> nice. I understand if it's there and everything. So cute. I feel like it like it looks like my style. <laughs> Connor's making fun of me because I started off all my vlogs with, okay, so, um, how did you feel about the venue? It's all right. I think it was really cute and you guys could see from like the videos, it was so my style and aesthetic, like everything was, and I didn't even like realize it was going to be like that, but everything was like light pink, there was like chandeliers and it was super vintage and I had mentioned in my last video I wasn't even like going for, um, like a vintage wedding or anything like that but it just randomly kind of like matched my style so I was really drawn to that but um it would have to be like a small wedding so we definitely would have to have like 80 people or less unless we wanted to do like a tent there I don't know did you like it I, th I think we need a look at a few more yeah I agree but we definitely want to look at the other places we have Two more, two more this week. We're gonna see, but right now we're gonna go to Hobby Lobby because I need to try um, and get stuff for the bridesmaid and maid of honor boxes. And then we also wanted to get some of their signs. Their signs there are amazing. And they're having a sale, today's the last day that they're all 50% off, so I wanted to get some quick. So are you excited? So excited. <laughs> all right, currently in Hobby Lobby and we found this really cute sign. But look at all their signs. They're just like so perfect. Distracted by little bills. Aww. These are New Year's. Christmas. Got like three signs. For, how much was it? Like only like 40 something dollars. It was so cheap. The next day now, I still need to show you guys the signs that we got um, at Hobby Lobby yesterday, but those are at my parents' house. So I'll show you guys those later, but we just got back from church. So I thought I'd show you guys quick, a little vintage haul. My mom and dad went to a garage sale and they found a bunch of things. So I'm gonna show you super quick. So my mom found this gorgeous milk glass 
lamp. I've always wanted an all milk glass lamp, but they're always so expensive. But my mom got all three of these things I'm gonna show you guys for $10. And then she got this purse. It is so pretty. And then she got me the Partridge uh, family record, which I'm super excited to listen to. And my parents, cons, they actually went to school with this girl. Hmm. Pretty cool. But I wanted to show you guys this book. So I was trying to figure out a way to ask Annabelle, my little niece, um, to be my flower girl, but I didn't know how, and my sister loves to read her books. So I figured I would go and just get her a book. So Connor actually found this one um, in Barnes and Noble and it's called The Paper Doll Wedding and it looks so vintage and it is such a beautiful book. So these are all little paper dolls that um, punch out and this one says The Flower Girl so I put like a little note next to it and say this is you. Um, but then look at the inside, like the coloring of everything is just so beautiful and then it has like this whole little flower girl section which is so cute. And here's a quick little outfit of the day. This dress is from Boohoo. It was actually in my last haul. Um, <laughs> Connor's making fun of me. Um, that I mentioned in the beginning of the video where the, like, the pink shirt was from. So this, but this dress actually fit me like super weird. So I ended up cutting the straps off in the back and then sewing them because it was actually like a crisscross, but it just didn't fit me right. So I cut them off which I normally have to do with clothes because I feel like clothes are always like too long on me so I always have to end up cutting them or like hemming them a little bit. So I did that and then I also sewed it. I don't know if you guys can tell but this slit went down all the way to the bottom and it was just completely open. So definitely wasn't appropriate for church but this is the dress. It's super cute and summery. Um, today we're having dinner with Connor's parents at my parents' house. Um, just to kind of like celebrate being engaged and talk about the wedding and everything like that. So I'm really excited. Guys, look how pretty my mom set up the table. So nice. So I want to show you guys the signs that we got at Hobby Lobby. So this one is so cute and it says welcome. I feel like it would just be really cute in the front. And then the next one we got says we're so glad you're here and then the last one and this is the last one they're so pretty i feel like this welcome sign would look really pretty with like eucalyptus garland on it and like some flowers just to make it look a little bit lighter annabelle look what's that I got you something. Oh. annabelle you want to be my flower girl? <gasps> oh! <laughs> Do you want to be my flower girl? Oh. Thanks to my little princess, my little sweet pea. All the joy that you have brought um, us and myself. I remember coming home from work at times when you were just about two years old and you would always come running up to the back door and grab me around my ankles. And uh, how it always just would touch my heart and any issue that I had during the day would just wipe away. Mm -hmm. And Connor, I know in the years to come and as you guys get married, that as you come home to the door, she'll come running to you too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, hopefully not away from you. Wait, 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 wait. There you go. Love you she loves you. Yeah. Hey guys, look at this cake my mom got us. Right. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. It looks so good. It's actually the next day now. I'm just like getting ready quick. Um, so yesterday was so much fun with our families. They totally spoiled us and everything was so beautiful and very delicious. Um, so it was such a great day yesterday and we had so much fun. Um, so today um, I actually was going to do some stuff like finish up getting everything for the bridesmaids um, boxes. Um, but Alyssa just texted me and she wanted to uh, test bridal makeup on me. Um, I'm gonna head over there, but I have a ton of stuff that I have to post to my Etsy shop. So I have these pillowcases, they're just folded right now, but these are so cute and so pretty. And then I have this 
um, like little slip. It's so beautiful. I have this apron, this apron, this one, which is so cute. I have this one, this one, and then I also have this apron. Um, and then I have these clothes. So this is like one of my favorite sweaters. It's so beautiful. This dress, which is actually a 1950s bridesmaid's dress. It's so stunning. And then I also have this dress to add to it, which is so beautiful. I do have a lot of like home decor that I wanna add, but that stuff takes a really long time to add to Etsy because it's really hard. Basically with Etsy, you kinda have to like pack everything up um, and then like weigh it and the glass stuff is just really difficult to ship and it kind of scares me So I want to wait until I have more time. I'm kind of just like pressed on time I have so much going on so I just needed to post I wanted to post something so I just figured I'd start with the clothing because it's just a lot easier for me So eventually I'll post um, Some fun little trinkety things, but yeah, this is what I have for now Everything that I showed you guys will be up on my Etsy shop it's my Etsy shop's name is Sweet Emmeline, so you guys can go visit it. I'll have the link in the description box down below. You guys, this is the finished look that Alyssa did. I'm obsessed with it. There's the eyes. I feel like it, I feel like I look like myself still because I was explaining to you guys in the last video that I get really nervous when people do my makeup because I usually don't look like me, but I look like me. Thanks. I'm disgusting. <laughs> Hi guys. <laughs> and here's Brianna. Hi. <laughs> so I look a little bit different from the last clip because the last ah. clip I had like full makeup on and now ah. I just got out of the shower. But um, basically yesterday Brianna and I ended up having a sleepover and we saw Mama Mia too. Ah. The reason why I didn't vlog it is because I know there's going to be a lot of footage from we have a venue tour today and then we have another venue tour ah. tomorrow. So I kind of just wanted to... Um, not like add in just like random clips of stuff that you guys probably don't really care about but um the venue tour we're gonna go see today i'm really excited for because it looks really really pretty um connor can't come with us today because he has work but he'll be able to go to the one with us tomorrow so i'm excited to see what this place looks like in person it's a little far from our house i think it's like over an hour um but i'm excited to see it so hopefully we end up liking this one. And yesterday I ended up looking for more stuff for the bridesmaids boxes and I couldn't find anything. I'm like so stumped. I think I'm just overthinking it. A lot of you guys were telling me just to like do something super simple and to not go over the top. So I think I just need to think like more simple minded. So hopefully by the end of this video, I will have a bridesmaids box. I promise you guys. And the other thing that's really exciting is that on Friday, um, I actually have an appointment to try on dresses so i definitely will be vlogging that for you guys and putting that up next week so i just feel like there's so many fun things happening and i feel like with my channel i kind of just want to um just post like whatever i'm feeling if that makes sense i feel like i i get way too like caught up in like what to post and i really just enjoy posting vlogs and like things that make me happy and i think a lot of youtubers have been going through this lately where we kind of just feel like uninspired. Like I know for me, there's really nothing that I feel like super passionate about to post right now. Um, but like I really do enjoy vlogging. Um, I just think YouTube has gotten to this really weird thing. And it's really not as enjoyable as it used to be. So that being said, I feel like I kind of just need to take things easy with YouTube. And just start to post um like videos that make me happy so i mean you guys have said i've been getting so many comments saying that like i just seem a lot happier and i feel like you guys keep saying i have a glow like every time i post a picture or a video you guys keep saying that i have this like glow about me and i think it's just because i've gotten to the point where i'm just gonna post like what makes me happy and like not worry about if it gets views if it doesn't get views if it gets hate comments like i'm just kind of over worrying about that kind of stuff and I think I'm just excited about planning a wedding. So I have like too much to worry about to even care about it. But yeah, that was my little rant. I just felt like I needed to explain this to you guys. There's definitely like more that goes into it. Um, but, oh, sorry, so right. Um, there's definitely more that like goes into it. But I don't really feel like getting into that right now because 
we have to leave soon for this venue tour. So I will catch up with you guys once we get there. A wine and beer bar in here. Okay. Primary bar is in here. It's helpful if I put on the light, huh? You're <laughs> <even> close. <laughs> candles lit everywhere, candles in the fireplace, stations set up around here for all your food stations. Okay. And then the outdoor space is this way. Watch your step. This is pretty. Okay. So, so out here on this terrace is where we will be coming down sometime this week. Mm -hmm. There's teak furniture and market umbrellas on that mm -hmm. lower patio as well. Okay. So this space. Well, this is pretty. Yeah, very nice. Okay. So this is a room that intentionally is designed to look and feel like a barn. You like mm -hmm. that? I wanted to talk to you guys quick about the last venue that I brought you guys to. Um, it's the next day. Like I said, this vlog is going to be super choppy because I'm just like bringing you guys from venue to venue. I'm about to leave for the next venue. But yesterday's venue, you guys could tell by the clips, was super dark. And it wasn't necessarily like my style. Um, I like the outdoor ceremony spot. I thought that was pretty. But again, I wasn't obsessed with it. The only thing that we really liked about this place was the price because they don't have a venue fee. And a lot of the places that we have been looking at have venue fees of anywhere between like $3,000 to $13,000. So that's like basically just thousands of dollars that you're throwing away just to have your, ven your wedding at this certain venue. So this place didn't even have that. So basically like all we would really, like the major cost of the wedding would just be the catering. Um, which was also like a really good deal and they have like amazing reviews at this place but like I said it's just it was super dark for my style but um, I feel like if I couldn't find anywhere else I definitely think we could make it work I don't know the place that we're gonna look be looking at today I think I'm gonna love I think my parents are gonna hate it They're they really don't want to do like a tent wedding or outdoor wedding and I get it because there's obviously the possibility of it raining but I'm like the type of person, I'm like very easy going. So if it does rain, then like it's not a big deal. Then we just use the backup plan that we we're going to have. Like I'm not going to freak out about it. Because at the end of the day, it's just about us like getting married. So I don't know. I know this place does have a high venue fee too. So I'm nervous. But meh. I don't know. But anyway, I'm going to show you guys a quick little outfit of the day. So this top is from Zaffle. I got this a while ago, but just a basic little top. And then these shorts are from Forever 21. They are so comfy and super cute with like the little nautical thing. So I will catch up with you guys once we get there. So sit down there, enjoy. But also what happened? This is the next day. I ended up not vlogging afterwards because we were in very deep discussion about this place. I think it was very torn. Like, I was pretty much obsessed with the place we saw yesterday. Um, it was probably hard for you guys to like envision it because it was like pouring rain. Um, but I've like seen pictures of it on like a really nice day. 
but basically it was super expensive it's the same exact price if not more sorry this lawnmower is in the background so loud but um it's probably more expensive than like my dream place that i really want to get married at so once i kind of came to that realization i was like i feel like it would just make more sense to get married at like my dream place than settle on this place and we want to be settling on it but the issue is that everything is outdoors with the exception of the barn and the bar and you can like have people in the barn and the barn is like um, supposed to be for like uh, basically like the dance floor and if it does rain you have your ceremony in there and then um, basically everything else is outside so if it does rain then you need to get a tent and there's just a bunch of like additional fees like that like if it does rain we're gonna have to get like a tent which is a lot of extra money and um i don't know there was just like there was basically everything as we were calculating it it was adding up and getting really expensive and we felt like it was super expensive for such a like backyard type of wedding like i think i would personally pay it because i thought the place was beautiful and the guy the owner was so nice like i just felt like i would love to work with him on a wedding but at the end of the day like everybody else that came with me wasn't obsessed with it like i was so i just felt like if nobody else is obsessed with it like i am it doesn't make sense and it was also very far out of the way and like lots of like windy back roads which is dangerous i feel like if people are driving home at night and there's not really like it wasn't like it was like in a town where there's like hotels so like everyone would have to drive far and at night and i don't know there was just little things that just were making it kind of like not make sense for us to do it so we've kind of made a decision on the wedding venue it's a venue we haven't even like gone to yet but it's where i really really want to get married it's just so beautiful i've seen so many um photos of weddings there and i just i know it's me like i it's just you know those places you just know you're gonna love um but we do hopefully we're gonna have an appointment to go view it next week i'm not sure if i'll vlog it or not because i'm a little nervous about showing like the world where i'm actually having my wedding because i know that some youtubers have done that and then like people uh like show up to their wedding and people have like found youtubers registries and like they've messed with a lot of things i can't remember there's one specific youtuber and her whole wedding got like almost like completely messed up because um people of the internet were like messing with it so i'm a little nervous so i'm not sure if i'm gonna vlog it or not that's kind of where we're at right now wilbur's like but um i did actually get stuff to finish the bridesmaids and maid of honor boxes i'm gonna show you guys those boxes um finished look at wilbur right now in my next video which is going to be me shopping for wedding dresses i cannot believe that um, i'm gonna give the bridesmaids their boxes then so i'll like show you guys what everything looks like i think they're gonna look super cute i'm just waiting for a couple more things to uh get in uh from the mail online i don't know what i'm saying i just woke up and my mom like it's just it's been emotional i feel like my mom said that she was up until 4 30 a.m this morning because she just felt so bad that I liked the place yesterday and like we weren't gonna do it. And so she just like had this epiphany that we should just have the wedding at the original place that we really like. So it's just, it's been emotional, which I expected in wedding planning, but I think it's gonna be worth it. And I think this place is beautiful. Um, the thing with this place though, is that we would probably have to have the wedding a lot sooner than we originally planned for. So we were thinking originally probably like the summer like we were really hoping for like june we don't really care like the month or anything like that but we just thought june would be like a good amount of time but it's probably going to be like a few months before that at this point so there's definitely a lot of stuff that we're going to have to do um but yeah so i hope you guys enjoyed this vlog i'm super excited to bring you guys wedding dress shopping with me and for you guys to see all of that and don't forget the link for my Etsy shop is down below in the description box. I'm sorry about this lawnmower. But I love you guys so much. And I will talk to you guys next time. Bye. Say bye. He's like licking me. Bye bye.